Okay, everybody. I'm trying this again. Uh, apparently, the connection in Brooksville Cemetery is not so good. Um, I'm standing now, and like, I got no place to stay here. In a Brooksville Cemetery. I don't even know how I'm going to fucking do this. Brooksville Cemetery. I'm doing a live review of Death Dream, the DVD Blu-ray release by Blue Underground, right there. It looks like my connection might be better. Um, it's not, it just stopped before. So we're in Brooksville Cemetery where two scenes from Death Dream were filmed. I believe it was two. But the ending, the fucking tragic ending, was filmed here. And, uh, figured it would be a great place to start. So we're doing a review of this. I said that already. I have my list, and I'm going to be standing and just talking to you. I hope this works. I hope it works. Um, so I'm going to go through the specs of this release. This is Unprecedented, the first Monster Movie app exclusive live uh, Blu-ray release review in a cemetery. <laughs> And it's not going so well. It's not going so well. Um, so we're going to start with uh, the, the special features. And we're starting with the rehash special features that were in the uh, 2004 Blue Underground DVD release. Um, so the rehash special features. We got uh, our two audio commentary tracks. One by Bob Clark, the producer and director. You know, if you don't know Bob Clark, just shut my fucking video down, please. Um, and, uh, and there's another commentary track with uh, Alan Ormsby, who did the effects, not Savini. Savini was a was his fucking helper. Uh, Alan Ormsby did the, the actually did this the special effects, and wrote the movie. Um, so there's a commentary track with those with both of those guys. That's uh, rehashed. Uh, Tom Savini. That fucking dickhead, uh, the early dickhead years, it's called. Um, that's a 10-minute documentary about, uh, you know, him stroking his own ego. I don't like him. Can you tell? Can you tell I don't like him? Um, Death Dreaming. It's an interview with uh, the star, Andy. He played Andy. Uh, and his name is uh, Richard Backus. It's an 11 minute video, almost 12 minutes. Uh, alternate opening title sequence is a special feature. That's uh, 3 minutes and 30 seconds ish. Um, rehashed. Uh, theatrical trailer. Theatrical trailer, if you will. Um, that's rehashed, 3 minutes and 48 seconds. And uh, still gallery. So all of that was on the 2004 Blue Underground. DVD release, which I also own. Um, this is all the new stuff. You ready? I'm standing doing this, so like, if the camera fucking moves, cut me some slack. I'm just, I'm just happy it hasn't stopped from lack of signal. So uh, the new special features, a recollection with star Anya, and I folded it right over, Anya Liffey. Uh, she plays uh, Andy's sister, Kathy Brooks, in the movie. And uh, her husband, Alan Ormsby, she used to be Anya... Oh, no, there's a B. If a uh, B lands on me, this shit's over. You're going to hear old Larry scream like a girl and run. <laughs> I don't do Bs. I don't like them. Um, so, yeah, she uh, it used to be Anya, Anya Ormsby. She was married to Alan Ormsby. And she fucking, they divorce like she's stupid because that dude's fucking awesome. I can't imagine. I mean, the man is a genius. Why would you divorce him? So there's a, that's like almost a half an hour uh, interview with those two. It's nice. It's nice. It's a new, new special feature. Uh, there's another special feature called Notes for a Homecoming. And that's uh, an interview with composer Carl Zitterer. Uh, that's almost 20 minutes long. It's 19 minutes long. Uh, 
Also, new special feature, flying down to Brooksville. Um, that's with an interview with production manager uh, John Bud Cardos. And that's, that's like five minutes long. Short. Sorry about the traffic noise. Apparently there's a road closed, so the detour goes right by this Brooksville Cemetery. Uh, this Brooksville Cemetery is really cool, by the way. Well, I, I won't get off topic, because I'm going to pee myself. There's no bathrooms in cemeteries, and if you whip your dick out, it's very disrespectful. I've learned. I've learned over my, you know, over my years. That's, it's a thing. So, uh, also a new special feature. If the camera is shaking, it's because I'm I got the Blu-ray under my arm, in my armpit, and I got notes and a pen, and like, it's a mess, everyone. It's a, just a total fucking dumpster fire here. So, um, also a new special feature is the uh, screen test. There was an original Andy, an actor, and as a matter of fact, trivia, everyone, um, the opening sequence that takes place in Vietnam, it wasn't actor Richard Backus. It was uh, the original actor, whose name is Gary Swanson. And uh, one of the special features is his test audition, his test uh, video for the film. That's like uh, 12 minutes long, 12 and a half minutes long. Um, also another special feature, Alan Ormsby's student film, which is like 10 minutes long, a little over 10 minutes long. Yeah, it's hard to get through. <laughs> I'll save my critiques till the end. Um, I just hope this video is going through, man. I hope. I'm going to have to do a whole nother one if it, do if it doesn't go through. So then, uh, last of the sp new special features, the, uh, the DVD, 2004 DVD release, had uh, a special feature that was like the extended ending of, of uh, the, the movie. There was like a shorter ending on the DVD. And then, then you could go to the special features and play the long version. Well, on this release, they just they just edited it on, so it's like it runs straight through. It's a great ending. It should have been on anyway. It's really good. So that's edited on to this to the Blu-ray. I'm not sure about the DVD. I didn't check. Sorry. I should have. I should have checked. Um, so that's all for the special features. Now. I get to try to show you everything that's in here with one hand. That's going to be fun. So this is like, this is the release itself. Beautiful. I love this cover art. It's a, it's a painting. I'm not sure who did that. But uh, it's been kicking around for different releases. I think it might have been a Canadian release or European. But like, man, it's a beautiful oil painting. Uh, it's been around for quite a, quite a while. Um, as there's reversible artwork, which I'm going to try to show you. <laughs> I'm standing in the cemetery. It's not good. The reversible artwork is right. Can you see it? It's there. It's, it's there. Reversible artwork. It's got... That is there. That is there. That is there. It's not holding that. Oh, I'm going to drool. I was just about to drool. That would have been funny. I'm going to tuck my pen behind my ear. Makes me look smart anyway. Um, the reversible artwork is the original movie poster. Just look it up online if you couldn't see it on here. So, uh, I'm working with what I got. And it's not a lot. There's no desk. Look, how, look at this backdrop. I mean, what a great place to review this. It's so pretty. Spanish moss, it's old cars whizzing by. There was just a Harley that was like super loud. You know, just as beautiful. Breathing in the carbon monoxide right beside the road here. But it really is a pretty cemetery. I found like a tombstone that was used in the movie. That's all a different video, but like, okay, so this is the inside. There's the, you got the, where are we? We got the Blu-ray first with the uh, the cover art and then see this is the artwork right here it's right there that is the alternate artwork 
the original movie poster. That's on the DVD. The Blu-ray has this artwork. Look how look how clear this is turning up. And there's a booklet with a lot of pages. It's a collectible booklet. And it's a uh I have no idea what I do with my paper. <laughs> This just makes it more, it's live, it's live video, like in this fucking cemetery. I'm just happy, like, it's going through and security hasn't kicked me out yet. Um, so there's a collectible booklet, and it's an essay by critic Travis Crawford. Um, reversible art, that's the physical. So let's get to the critique. Packaging on this, A fucking plus, reversible artwork, the booklet... The, uh, the art on the fucking discs themselves, beautiful, um, top notch, really nice. Yours won't have the promo punch through the barcode that mine has, probably. Um, and so that's like the physical, it's absolutely beautiful release. Uh, the transfer, now this is the thing. <laughs> this is, might be slightly negative. So, um, this wasn't filmed, like, well, originally. Uh, I don't know, I couldn't find if it was filmed on 16mm. It looks like it was filmed on 16mm. I'm not sure, but, uh, real grainy. Like, always has been, always will be. Like, maxed out grain. Um, for this release, you know, like, when you, when you amp it up in high def and brighten the picture and stuff, the grain comes out, like, hardcore, and, like, you can super tell where, like, it was, like, different, maybe different stock, or, or, um, they splice together, like, edits or whatever, it's, it becomes more obvious on Blu-ray. Is that a negative? It depends on how you look at it, you know, like, if you, <laughs> everything out, like, the colors pop, and, like, everything, like, some scenes are just, like, stunning, but, uh, you know, the negatives of the original film are, like, amplified because, you know, it's high def. You can see them better. Um, I personally prefer the DVD release on this because it's darker and, like, you know, it's hiding the strings, if you will. The, you know, the strings on the UFOs. You know, it's, you know what I'm saying. Um, I prefer the DVD. Maybe even the VHS. You know, I don't know if this particular movie was like suited for going into high def just because of its flaws, its original flaws. They're maxed out, they're fucking in your face. Lots of grain, waves, amber waves of grain like going across the fucking screen. So I personally prefer the DVD, um, that's me. But that being said, if you don't own the DVD and you want to, and you're a, a high def guy, this is awesome. Just go in knowing that, like, the movie wasn't filmed great originally. And, you know, it's just like with the old uh, black and white Universal movies and stuff like that. If you want to see how fake the strings hanging are, the bats, if you want to see the string that's, that's suspending the bat and, like, high def, like really bright in your face and like taking you out of the fucking picture, then, you know, watch them on, on HD and Blu-ray. If you don't, you know, watch them on VHS or maybe even DVD. DVD might even be too strong. I don't know, but high def brings out every flaw. And that's what it does with this. It's not a knock on their transfer. I think, you know, they did the best they could with what they had. Um, but... It's a fact. It's a fact. So would I buy this? If I already had the DVD, would I upgrade? I would, because I'm a junkie, you know? Like, I want this artwork. I want the booklet inside. I want to see the special features. This movie, like, blew me away. I, I mean, obviously, I'm in Brooksville, Florida, where it was filmed. And I'm about to take a tour. Stay tuned. Stay tuned to the app and to Facebook and Twitter and Instagram, because... I'm going more places. Uh, gonna eat at Coney Island Hot Dog, where uh, films were see uh, shots were filmed. Uh, it's gonna be great. So like this movie, I love this movie. I love Bob Clark. I love Children Shouldn't Play with Dead Things, one of my favorite zombie movies of all time. And um, 
So like, fuck yeah, I would, I would upgrade and buy this the second that I saw it was being released by Blue Underground. I pissed myself. I pissed myself and, uh, you know, couldn't wait to get it. Thank you, Blue Underground, for doing this and sending me two copies. One which I'm giving away. Let's get right to it. Would I upgrade? Yes. Would I buy it? Yes. Because I love the movie. But, disclaimer, you know, you, I already said it. Go back and watch. Um, so I'm giving a brand new copy of this away. And all you need to do is, first of all, you have to, be, you have to like my page, Monster Movie App, already. I'm not fucking entering you if you don't even like my page. Go fuck yourself. Two, like and share my video, this video. And, uh, and then tag me in it so that I know. And, um, and you're going to be entered in. This is a Facebook video. So it's a Facebook contest. If you're watching this on YouTube, then you got to go to my Facebook page, like it, and share it. And uh, on your on your Facebook profile, and you'll be entered. Tag me. Make sure you tag me, because sometimes sometimes Facebook ain't so good. I gotta go and pee. So uh, you know, go get yourself a copy. If you don't mind, disclaimer. Um, and enter the contest. You could win this. There's going to be more from Brooksville very soon, so stay tuned. Until then, get the fuck out of... I can't... Can I swear in here? Have I been swearing? Look how beautiful. Larry's coming home. Larry's coming home. <laughs>